Hello, and welcome to this video <clears throat> about writing quotes in MLA style at the very basic level. So this video is great for middle school students or high school students or even college students who are new to the MLA style. Maybe you're writing a literary essay or a research paper, and you've been asked to use MLA style quotations in your paper. This is a very basic introduction with just the most important, important basics. It's a great place to start. Also, if you're a middle schooler, this is a great place to start. Um, if maybe you've done it once before, but you want to make sure these things you have correct before you move on to more sophisticated MLA style skills, which I will make other videos about. But let's get started with writing quotes in MLA style at a very basic level. So first and foremost, make sure to copy the quote exactly, same words, same punctuation. Pay attention. I and your teachers have read the book so many times. We have read so many papers and essays about the book that we can recognize a mistake. So you need to make sure you spell all the words correctly, use all the same punctuation, don't leave anything out. We will be reading it and noticing it, so you should make sure you double check that. Next, you put quotation marks at the beginning and end of the quote. That tells readers that what's inside those quotation marks is not your words. That is the words from your source, the book you read, the poem, whatever it is you're citing. Okay? Next, after the quotation marks, at the end, after the last one, you put the author's last name, last name, and just the page number in parentheses. This is called the parenthetical. So often people will say, add your parenthetical or what's in your parenthetical, okay? So what's important is that it's the author's last name and just the page number. We're gonna look at an example. Why just the last name? Why not the first name? Why not the whole name? Well, in English, we generally show respect by referring to someone as their last name. First names usually show closeness or familiarity or friendship. And when we're talking about published authors and people who've written books, we're not friends with them. We respect them. We're using their works. We use their last name. Okay. There are a few other reasons as well as far as your work site it goes, but let's start there. All right. And then after the parentheses, you put a period. This is a very hard thing for students to remember. A period. Well, it's a way to tell your reader my quote and page number, my parenthetical are done. I'm moving on now to my own ideas. That period signals I'm done with my quote. I'm moving to my next sentence. Let's take a look at an example. I think it's easiest to see when you look at an example. Okay. Here is a quote. This comes from page 15 of The Giver. Page 15. Okay. Page 15 of The Giver by Lois Lowry. So um, here is the quote. It didn't seem a terribly important rule, but the fact that his father had broken a rule at all awed him. Okay? So notice, I put quotation marks around the words that are not mine. Those are the words that I'm taking from the book to prove my point. Then after my last quotation mark, I add a parenthesis, the author's last name, Lowry, and then the page number. Do not use the letter P or P period or PG or PG period or PAGE, just the number. Everyone who is an academic person who's reading your essay understands that that number is the page number. We don't need to add anything else to clutter it up. And notice it says Lowry, not Lois, because I don't know her. I don't have lunch with her. We didn't go out for brunch last weekend and talk about our day. I am showing her respect by using her last name, okay? And I do not use the full name, just the last name, Lowry, okay? So that is a basic MLA style quotation, okay? I've taken a word for word sentence from a book. I've typed it exactly. I've added quotation marks around the words that aren't mine. I've added a parenthetical and inside that parenthetical, I put the author's last name, and the page number, just the number, no P, no PG, no comma, no period needed. But I do put a period at the end of that parenthetical to signal to the reader, I'm done with my quote. I'm moving on to my analysis now. Okay, thanks for watching.